please note that on receiving a radio signal, the time will automatically be set. There may be circumstances, however, when you need to manually set the time, such as after an all reset, or if you are in an area that inhibits signal reception. To begin, pull the crown out one click and rotate the crown clockwise or counterclockwise until the mode hand points to TME or time mode. Press and release either the upper right button or the lower right button until a city in your time zone is shown in Digital Display 1. Pull the crown out an additional click to activate the time setting mode. The second or transmission strength indicator hand will move to 12 o'clock and the SMT setting will flash in Digital Display 1. Next, press and release the lower right button to activate or deactivate SMT or Daylight Savings Time. Next, press and release the upper right button. The seconds will flash in Digital Display 1. Press and release the lower right button to set the seconds to zero. Next, Press and release the upper right button again. The minutes will flash in Digital Display 1. Turn the crown clockwise or counterclockwise to set the current minute. Press and release the upper right button again. The hours will flash in Digital Display 1. Turn the crown clockwise or counterclockwise to set the current hour. Finally, press and release the upper right button one last time. The 12-hour or 24-hour indication will flash in Digital Display 1. Press and release the lower right button to set 12-hour or 24-hour time. Push the crown in one click. Next, Simultaneously press and release the lower right button and the upper right button until you hear a beep. Digital Display 2 will change to the time zone shown in Digital Display 1 and the analog hands will move to the time in that time zone. Finally, push the crown in one click to the closed position next to the case. This completes setting the time. Please note that after receiving a radio signal, the calendar will automatically set. There may be circumstances, however, for which you will need to manually set the calendar, such as after an all reset or if you are in an area that inhibits signal reception. To begin, pull the crown out one click and rotate the crown clockwise or counterclockwise until the mode hand points to CAL or calendar mode. Next, press and release either the upper right button or lower right button until a city in your time zone is shown in Digital Display 1. Next, pull the crown out a second click the current month set in memory will flash in Digital Display 1. You may now turn the crown clockwise or counterclockwise until the current month is shown in Digital Display 1. Next, press and release the upper right button. The date will flash. You may now turn the crown clockwise or counterclockwise until the current date is shown in Digital Display 1. Next, press and release the upper right button one more time. The year will flash. You may now turn the crown clockwise or counterclockwise until the current year is shown in Digital Display 1. 
Finally, push the crown in two clicks to the closed position. This completes setting the calendar. If the city in Digital Display 2 does not show your time zone, you will need to set the time zone correctly. To begin, pull the crown out one click and rotate so that the mode hand points to TME or Time Mode. Press and release the lower right button or upper right button until a city in your time zone is shown in Digital Display 1. Next, simultaneously press and release the lower right button and upper right button. This will update Digital Display 2 and the analog hands to your current time zone. You have now completed setting the time zone. Please note that radio signals can be received automatically when the watch is in the calendar mode, time mode, or the reception set mode. Automatic radio reception occurs at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and 4 a.m., based on the time zone shown in the left digital display and on the time shown by analog hands. If a successful update occurs, subsequent updates for that session will not occur. The last reception time may be changed to a custom time other than 4 a.m. If the mode hand does not correctly indicate CAL, TME, or RX2, then pull the crown out one click and turn to point the mode hand to either the TME, CAL, or RX2 modes. Next, press and release the lower right button. To indicate a successful radio reception, the second hand will move to indicate the strength of the signal received, which could be high, medium, or low. To indicate an unsuccessful radio reception, the second hand will move to the NO position. If no signal can be detected, you may need to proceed with manually checking and setting the time. If Digital Display 2 does not indicate your current time zone, you will need to change this to show your current time zone. To begin, pull the crown out one click and rotate so that the mode hand points to TME or Time Mode. Next, press and release the lower right button or upper right button until a city in your time zone is shown in Digital Display 1. Next, simultaneously press and release the lower right button and the upper right button. This will update Digital Display 2 and the analog hands to your current time zone. Next, push the crown in one click. Then, press and hold the lower right button for two or more seconds until you hear a beep. The second hand will move to the RX position at 12 o'clock. The charge level frequency hand will move to the current signal available. Digital Display 1 will show RDY. Digital Display 2 will show RX. And then the displays will flash RX and RC every 3 to 5 seconds. Place the watch in a stable position so that it is not moved. It can take up to 15 minutes to complete the update process. If no signal is detected, Digital Display 1 will show No, and the second hand will resume normal function. If no signal can be detected, you will need to proceed with manually setting the time. If a radio signal is detected, the second hand will move to indicate the signal strength. 
If a signal is detected and updating also completes successfully, Digital Display 1 will show OK and the second hand will resume normal function. After a complete loss of charge, or if an abnormal display or function is noticed, an all reset and a zero positioning check and correction is required. To begin, pull the crown out one click and rotate so that the mode hand points to CHR or chronograph mode. Next, pull the crown out another click to the setting position. All the hands will move to their respective zero positions and the digital display will show only zeros. The correct zero position for the charge level or frequency hand is the center of the triangle under the letters E, U, R. All other hands should be pointing straight up to the 12 o'clock position. Now, press the upper right and lower right buttons down simultaneously for three seconds and then release them. On release of buttons, all digital segments in the displays will be highlighted. The hands will then move back and forth and finally, the digital display will show only zeros. This indicates that the All Reset procedure was successful. Press the crown in to the closed position. You must now continue with the zero positioning check and correction procedure. To begin, pull the crown out one click and make sure that the mode hand still points to CHR. Next, pull the crown out another click to the setting position. Each hand will move to their respective zero positions set in memory and zeros will show up in the digital display. The correct zero position for the charge level or frequency hand is the center of the triangle under the letters E, U, R. All other hands should be pointing straight up to the 12 o'clock position. If all the hands point to their respective zero positions, press the crown in two clicks to the closed position and this completes the process. If any of the hands do not indicate their correct zero position, you will need to proceed to adjusting the zero position of the hands. To begin the adjustment, press and hold the upper right button for two or more seconds then release. This activates the zero positioning mode indicated by CHA flashing in Digital Display 2, indicating that the charge level or frequency hand may be adjusted. If the charge level or frequency hand needs adjustment, turn the crown clockwise or counterclockwise until the hand points to the center of the triangle under the letters E, U, R on the frequency scale. Next, press and release the upper right button again. The digital display 2 will show UTC, indicating that the UTC hour and minute hands may be adjusted. Turn the crown clockwise or counterclockwise until both the UTC hour and minute hands point to 24. Again, press and release the upper right button. The digital display 2 will show HR, indicating that the hour hands may be adjusted. Turn the crown clockwise or counterclockwise until the hour hand points to the 12 o'clock position and the 24 hour hand points to 24. Again, press and release the upper right button. The digital display 2 will show MIN, indicating that the minute hand may be adjusted. Turn the crown clockwise or counterclockwise until the minute hand points to 12 o'clock. Next, press and hold the upper right button for two or more seconds and release. 
Finally, push the crown to the closed position next to the case. The analog hands will move to the time set in memory. You have completed the all reset and zero positioning procedures. You must now set the time either through on-demand reception or manually.